That increase in the reward, that's the big development today in the Seminole Heights killings. Our Maricela Burgos live right along Dale Mabry. That's where new billboards are going up with some uh, information on that reward. Maricela? Yeah, that total is now up to $100,000. It's right there behind me on Dale Mabry. They have these digital billboards spread out throughout Hillsborough County with information, with Crime Stoppers information. I do want to recap for you what we know so far about the investigation. Tampa police detectives released this surveillance video of the suspect Wednesday. The video was taken before the fourth victim Ronald Felton was killed. TPD received 404 tips yesterday, raising the amount of tips since the investigation started to nearly 2,800. Chief Brian Dugan says the first three victims were killed at night while Felton was targeted in the morning. Their main focus right now is identifying the man on surveillance video. The chief says he is sure he's the same man on video the night Benjamin Mitchell was killed. I sure hope that... <laughs> This guy is found soon because uh, again, I think it's 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 taking an emotional toll on the on the neighborhood. There are a total of 19 digital billboards, as I mentioned, throughout Hillsborough County and one in Pinellas County with the Crime Stoppers information. Clear Channel and Outfront Media billboards donated that ad space. Again, back out here live, you can see it. It's in big, bold print so that everybody driving on Dale Mabry can see that information. If you have any information about the Seminole Heights murders, you need to call Crime Stoppers. That number is one 800 873 Tips. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos for the Now Tampa Bay. $100,000 in a reward. It sounds like a lot of money. A little perspective on this, though. We checked the FBI's top 10 most wanted list, and for nine of them, the FBI reward for information leading to their arrest was $100,000. That's so serious this is, Ashley. Only one of them was larger at $200,000. Big difference, though, between FBI's most wanted and the Seminole Heights killer. All of these people have names, pictures, but neither of those is the case in this one. Nothing but a really vague description. And also this just an additional Florida Highway Patrol officers are being directed to Seminole Heights at this point. Of course, we will pass along any other developments on this big, big story as they come in.